Hello YouTube, this is uh, my solar update here in Florida again. As you can see, I've added another panel on my roof. That's 195 watts down there, and I've got uh, 250 watts up at the top between the two panels. So you can do the math there. I'll go ahead and take you inside, <coughs> and uh, we'll go through the back. That way I can show you what I've got back there. There's Riley, our cat. Excuse the mess, but here we go. So, as you can see, I've got a total of uh, nine batteries. Now, the uh, larger ones, not the blue one, those are golf cart batteries. The blue ones are 12 volts, so the rest are six, and they're all connected, so it's a 12 volt system. Now, I've got a thousand amp hours in uh, DC. In AC, when you convert it, that's only about a hundred amp hours. Now. As you can see, I've got about 200 watts coming in. I'm trying to make sure you can see that very well. 200 watts coming in from the panels. Uh, again, because they're not all facing the same way, you don't get this, you know, peak voltage, but or wattage throughout the day. But you get more. They get more wattage in the uh, afternoons. Right now, it's uh, early afternoon. So I've got my power that comes in through uh, the cords there and I'll show you this is my um, <coughs> my junction box basically my combiner box that I made and um, over here the first white and black split off to these uh, ground bars and then I have another uh, white and black that go back up into that wire and actually go through this uh, conduit here and down here at the bottom you can see the power then will travel through here through the solar panel disconnect into the <coughs> charge controller to another disconnect and then that goes to the batteries and then it goes right from the batteries and I've got this uh, back here if you can see it or not I'm not sure that's a hundred amp uh, car fuse those are work great so this is my 3,000 watt inverter. Anyway, um, so that power, when I turn, and I'll show you that in a little bit, I'm going to turn this off over here. The power is going to get cut here, and it's going to go through and down here and into the uh, 250 watt grid tie inverter, which, when you follow that black cord, goes over here to this uh, kilowatt meter. So let me go ahead and flip that on, and we're going to set it down to... Uh, watts because I want you to see the difference in um, um, how efficient this uh, grid time inverter is in comparison to the charge controller. So the charge controller was doing 100 and uh, I'm sorry doing 200 watts now it's dropped down to about 140 or so so the si it should be 60 watts down here and we're pretty close so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn off the power going to the grid, I mean to the uh, charge controller, as you can see, went to sleep. So what will happen is, as you can see, the green lights start to move faster and faster as the power starts to go through it. it. doesn't all just kick on at once. And so we should be seeing 200 watts here. Um, and as you can see, it's starting to go up. But let's see how far up it'll go. Uh, to as far as the uh, 200 watts go. I'm trying to get there you go. So 158 that's about a let's, let's just say 158, 160 maybe uh, out of the uh, 200 watts that my charge controller reading. So I'm losing 40 watts going through that grid time inverter and then going back into my grid um, into my house so when I'm losing 40 watts that's a lot of watts out of off 200 so the efficiency uh, that my rogue <coughs> my rogue grid I mean charge controller is about a 92-94 percent uh, efficiency rating so I'm only losing about 8 
percent on my watts coming down through here and for what it does. However, if I'm only losing, let's say that's 92 percent efficient, I'm losing between there and here 60 watts, or I'm sorry, 40 watts off 200. Well, you figure the math out on that, and that comes out to uh, one fifth as efficient, uh, a loss in efficiency, which is 20 percent. So this is about 80 percent efficient. You can just hear the. Uh, you can see the lights moving. You might be able to hear the fan just kick on. It's thermally controlled. So let's see what we're at here. 163 watts. 163, 165. So anyway, so that gives you an idea of, of the efficiency. When you're trying to configure your system to operate, uh, you want to figure about a 20% minimum uh, loss between what you're getting in and when you're putting it out. So uh, I'm sure that when that 3,000 watt inverter kicks in and I use it, and I've used it a couple times, uh, probably I'm I know I'm losing at least another 10, 12, 15% there, which when you add it up comes out to about 20%. So if you're trying to power something that requires 1,000 watts, at 20 percent and uh, try and bring down at least uh, or at least have up there 1200 so anyway that's uh, my update and uh, you know I enjoy everybody else's comments and videos and uh, please let me know what you think appreciate it and uh, any comments or suggestions are appreciated